morning children we have learned so much about angles how to measure angles how to draw angles and how are the angles are so important in our daily lives and so many more things today in this video i am going to revise all about angles and this one video will help you you know understand everything about angles okay and i have made a special powerpoint presentation for this right so come let's do that in this presentation children we are going to quickly revise the chapter shapes and angles and as this picture shows you we are using angles in so many ways in our daily lives for instance this staircase has got many many angles in it like you can see this angle is a right angle this is a 90 degrees angle and it is a right angle this angle is an acute angle it is less than 90 degrees it's an acute angle now if you see the angle made by this rod with this string the angle made by this string and this rod it is an obtuse angle so we use angles in our day to day lives and it is very important for us to learn angles so children we have learned that when two line segments or two rays they meet at a point this is the point where they are meeting an angle is formed and these two rays or the line segments they form the arms of the angle this is one arm of the angle and this one is another arm of the angle and this is the measure of the angle and we measure the angles with the help of degrees degrees is the unit for measuring the angles now there are different types of angles first is acute angle an angle which is more than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees is an acute angle for example this 46 degrees angle is an acute angle right angle an angle which is exactly 90 degrees in the form of l the letter l where we have one vertical line and one horizontal line this angle is called a right angle and its measure is 90 degrees obtuse angle an angle which is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees is an obtuse angle for instance this 130 degree angle is an obtuse angle now straight angle as the name suggests the straight angle looks like a straight line it is exactly 180 degrees for example this angle is 180 degrees now reflex angle which i have mentioned in my earlier videos is more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees so children this angle this one this angle is a reflex angle of 308 degrees now full angle we also call it complete angle an angle that is exactly 360 degrees is called an is called a full angle or a complete angle so 12 o'clock when both the needles are on on top of each other and when one needle has taken one full round of the clock it has formed 360 degrees with the other needle so that is a complete angle now this 
is a protractor. You have already seen it in my previous videos and it, it is used to measure angles. It has two scales. One is the outer scale and the other one is the inner scale. The zeros of inner and the outer scale are in the opposite direction. The 180 degrees of the inner and outer scale is also in the opposite direction. The inner as well as the outer scale only have 90 degrees in common. 90 degrees is common for both inner as well as outer scales. And I have already taught you how to use the protractor to measure angles as well as to draw angles. Now the angles made by the needle of a clock. This angle when the time is 2 o'clock, this angle is an acute angle since it is less than 90 degrees. In this clock, the time is 3 o'clock. And this angle is exactly 90 degrees and that's why this is a right angle. In this clock, the time is 5 o'clock and the angle formed by the two needles is an obtuse angle since it is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. Now in this clock, we can see that the time is 6 o'clock. So the angle formed by the two needles is exactly 180 degrees and is called a straight angle. Now this, in this clock, the time is 10 o'clock and the angle, this angle formed, the one in the green color, this angle formed is more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees and this is a reflex angle. In this clock, the time is 12 o'clock and as I told you just now, the needle has moved one complete rotation and this complete rotation is 360 degrees and it is called a complete angle. Now children, these are the polygons and they are regular polygons. Now, what is the meaning of regular polygons? Regular polygons are the closed figures which are made with the help of straight lines and all the straight lines are equal in length. So this triangle is an equilateral triangle and it's all its sides are equal in length. The, the length of these three sides is equal. Also, the three angles are equal. So all these three angles are 60 degrees each. So this is an equilateral triangle. Now square. This figure you have been studying since class 1 and even KG. Square is a quadrilateral or a four-sided figure where all four sides are equal in length. And also all four angles are equal in length. And very easily you can make out that all the four angles are 90 degrees each. It means we have four right angles in a square. Now we come to pentagon. Pent means five. Pentagon is a five-sided figure and a regular pentagon has all five sides equal. Also, it has all five angles equal and each angle is 108 degrees. The next figure is hexagon. Hexagon is a six-sided figure and here you can see a regular hexagon where all six sides are equal in length. All its six angles 
are also equal in size all angles are 120 degrees each this is a heptagon heptagon has seven sides and this is a regular heptagon in this heptagon all sides have equal lengths and all angles have equal measure and every angle the measure is 128.57 degrees now we have octagon again we have a regular octagon where all eight sides you see children octagon and octopus you can make out that oct is common in both of them oct means eight so we have a eight sided figure which is called octagon and this is a regular octagon so all eight sides are equal in length and all eight angles are also equal in measures and every angle is 135 degrees now children if you see the pattern as we move from triangle to square to pentagon hexagon and so on as the number of sides are increasing the the measure of angle is also increasing you can see that all these regular polygons the measure of angle is also increasing so angles have a very very important role in the formation of regular polygons with this children we have revised almost everything in our chapter angle and sh shapes and angles and with this our chapter is over i would request all of you to practice measuring angles as well as drawing angles as much as you can since these will be used in all your senior classes in mathematics as well as in physics so that's all for today children thank you and have a nice day